Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2013, it's a Nissan Versa, and the problem we have is, I don't know if you can see it, but you see the back third light burnt out. The third light on the back window is burnt out, as well as the right side light. I'll bring you in there, I'll show you what it looks like, or it doesn't look like. All right, so we have one light that's on. This brake light here is off. And then this brake light over here is off. Now it looks like it's going to be a pain in the rear end to get in there to get to it, but it's really not that bad. What we're going to do now is we just open up the trunk. And then, let's get a light in here so I can show you. Basically, you just come up underneath the bottom right here, and we take the bulb out. So let me grab a light so you can see what I'm doing, and we'll continue. Okay, hopefully you can see a little better in there. And you can see this plug right up inside here. You just take this plug, push it over, and you pull it. Just like that. And there is your burnt out light bulb. So let's grab our new bulb and we'll, we'll throw it back together. Now, so let's see what number bulb we have here. And we'll grab the new one and put it back together. Okay, so now we got the light bulbs. Always make sure you put the correct bulb in. This is a 921, so that's exactly what we're going to use, an exact replacement. Even though another bulb will fit, always make sure you use the correct one. All right. And the way we're going to put it back in... is you just take the bulb, put it back in, like this, and you push it, and it locks in all the way. All right, then you take the bulb, and you put it back up through the bottom, sometimes a little tight. Just straighten it out to where it came out, just like that. And I will turn it, and it locks back in, just the way it's supposed to, just like that. All right. And I can see that this popped off right here as well. So we're going to put that back on there. All right, so that light bulb is done. You can see it's on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to address the issue with this one here. As you can see, it's the upper light bulb. So we're going to come over, and we're going to take this lens off right here. So what we're going to do is come in here with a screwdriver. We're going to pop these little clips out right here. I don't think I can do it with my fingers. I'm going to go get a screwdriver. And walk her right back. What you do is you come in here with a screwdriver just like this here, and you pull the center part of the clip up, and you pull out this piece with, without breaking it. We're just going to put this off to the side for now. Pull the covering back here. And then you can see these little 10 millimeter bolts in here. This one, and probably this one here. We're going to take out these two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay. Now we'll take both of these uh, uh, bolts, or the 10 millimeters, take them off. Give it a little push before you take them out, and that'll make the light move just a little bit. Don't lose the bolts because you're going to need them. Now this part of it is a little bit of a pain in the, pain in the rear end and you've got to be careful with it. This light, I'll show you real quick. This light we need to pry out. We, this part here is now loose. This came out. This part came out and it's loose, but this part you got to be careful with. You take a, a screwdriver, you put it in the top of it right here, and there's a little plastic clip right there. You need to pry the light out very gently. Very gently, because if you pry it too hard, you're going to chip off this piece of the plastic here, and you'll be replacing the lens. And I'm going to take the lens out like this. We're going to unplug. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn it so you can see. Right in the back right here, that plug 
We're gonna unplug that plug. You know what? Let's leave it plugged in. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and we'll uh, we'll do it right here on the car. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these screws out right here so we can remove this light assembly here. But you probably wanna do this on a workbench so you don't drop it and break it. We're gonna take these screws out and don't lose them. We're gonna to need to reuse them over again. Nissan's got really a crappy way of doing things here. And then we just take this out. And we're going to put this down on the floor for now. As you can see, that light did come on. I'm going to just turn the key off for one second. Yeah. Now the reason that that light came on is because the bulb is burned out. But what happens, the filament in between the two electrodes in there, when you move the light and it bounces around, the filament momentarily touches and welds itself back together. So that bulb is definitely no good. We're going to take it off, but we don't want to melt our fingerprints off. So we're going to take it out with a rag. Okay, let me grab a new light bulb and we'll put it back together. Okay, now we got our replacement light bulb. There's only one way that this bulb goes in. You can see that one of the, uh, the lock pins is high and one lock pin is low. So when you put it in, you have to make sure you put it in correctly. And you can try to turn it. And if it doesn't turn easily, like you push in and turn. If you try to push in and turn it and it doesn't turn, turn it around. Push it in. Turn it on. And now we're going to go inside. And we're going to test it to make sure it works. Okay, and as you can see, the light bulb does work. All right, so now we're going to take our our um, lens. We're going to put it back in the way it was. Now you could turn the key back off or, or release the brake pedal if you wanted to, but I'm just going to do it like this for now. You're just screwing it to plastic, so you want to be very careful you don't break anything. Alright, let me just go in the, in the car for one second, and we'll come right back in and disconnect that. Now that we, uh, we're ready to put the light back in, this little pin right here, you'll notice that it's, it's made of plastic and it's going into a plastic piece right here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of, um, of lubricant on there. You can use never sees, you can use whatever you have, just a little bit, it'll make it a lot easier going in this time and coming out in the future. So first thing we do is we line up this piece with this over here. And then we'll go inside the vehicle and we'll get the other pieces through here. They're both through and we'll push it. And you feel the snap in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back in over here. And we're going to screw on the that light, right? We'll screw the 10 millimeters back on that we previously took off. Again, you're just screwing into plastic, so you want to be very careful because these the other end of this is just in the plastic light itself. So you screw it in so it's snug. And then we take our cover, put it back over, make sure it goes back in where it belongs. Then get this light out of the way. We're just going to put it under the rubber where it belongs right here. Push it back in. Just like 
that. And then we're going to take our push pin. We push the, we keep this pull out, and then we push this in, and then we push that piece back in. That's it. Then we put our molding, our, our weather stripping back on, just like that. So that's it. All right, after you put the light bulbs in, you always want to check everything to make sure it works. Check your brake lights, check your directionals, and most important, check your parking lights as well, just to make sure everything is okay. As you can see, everything works perfectly here. No problem. Everything is, uh, is absolutely perfect. And uh, that's it. All right, the main thing is with this particular job is that with that one little clip on the end there, when you put the screwdriver in, wrap your screwdriver with a, with a, a rag, paper, anything so that you don't chip off the light. Because I've seen already where people get in there with a screwdriver and they chip off a piece of the light and now water gets in the light and the lens is no good. So take the extra time, put the, uh, the rag around it so you don't chip it, you'll be good to go. Uh, a little bit of grease on there, anti-seize, any kind of lubricant on there whatsoever, it'll make it easier coming off the next time. And you know there will be a next time. All right, as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.